Okay, my babies. Late night. Oh, it's late. Night crawler. <laughs> like a thief in the night. All right. Rest in peace to trouble, man. Who are we? What's here? For Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Somebody thinking about you. I'm hearing that song, um, All the Way Home by Tamar. Why the heck do I want to call that girl Tamia? So something could be significant about the singer Tamia. Okay. There's our angel Michael. First car out. Love to see it. Ooh, yeah. It's a whole little family dynamic here that's been torn to shreds. That's what he heard. Daughter romance in the reverse. Magician in the mirror. Somebody is playing games. Okay. I keep wanting to let y'all know that these people love to play games with you all. Right around the time where you're um, coming together with someone else. That energy of people never wanting you. Until you're with somebody else. Our angel, Raphael. No, that's Gabriel. Sorry. You're on this journey, this healing journey. It's a cornucopia. Abundance. I'm telling you. You done cut a lot of people off. Somebody don't have no strategy. And guess what? They done lost every damn thing. Blossoming abundance in the reverse. What else is here? Child, this is really kind of funny as hell. Because, girl, what is this? What is here, spirit? The sun. So you're in this sun energy. Somebody wants to be in this energy with you, but they cannot collide. They can't collaborate. They can't come. I'm about to go in the house, y'all. <laughs> Angela Strand. Sheesh. So somebody is looking, somebody is viewing you like, dang, I really don't have an opportunity with this person. This person could have a little bread. They could have some money. I mean, I feel like you got money. That's that's your advantage over this person. Somebody is so used to being able to control women or men with their money and you're not buying it or they can't buy you or something. <laughs> it's somebody else here, bro. It's somebody else here that's going to be with you forever. I mean, they y'all going to be together for a very, very long time, bro. Somebody just got into an argument with they boo. Y'all better work that shit out. Y'all better work this stuff out, y'all. Don't be, you know, breaking up with your person. If it ain't that serious. There's some kind of indecision. Now, somebody just cheating and they uh, verbally or physically abusive. Leave that motherfucker, for sure. What else is here? Yeah, somebody ending a caring connection. And then, so you know what I'm picking up, somebody that ended a connection with somebody and they think that that's going to, I heard warrant them to come in and be with you or something and you're not going to accept their offer or something like that. They waited too long or they played too many fucking games or this is you. Somebody played too many games. They talk too much and they also play too much. This person be talking shit soon. Yeah, yin and yang reverse. Trying to portray to be your twin flame or something. And see, for a lot of you all, yo, um, this person, this person, um, this person that's on your mind, they be talking to you. They be talking to you from fake ass accounts, though. They be trying to alert and see what the hell they master this other masculine is bringing in, walking away is in the reverse. This person is not, they're not going to walk away from you at all. Look at this broken heart and then storm warning. Storm warning and broken heart. This person is not going to walk away. They're not going to give up. There's anxiety. But see, they really tripping because their person ain't got no money. And they can't think of a way to get enough. It's what I heard. This could have even been somebody that you have children with. And this person left you to take care of your children on your own. Or divine masculine. This person right here like kept your, your kids away from you or something. But it's like they're not trying to allow you to see your kids or be in your kids' life. They're just trying to block you. They're sitting in the background watching. <laughs> they can't do anything. I'm smelling tangerines and oranges and shit. Straight up, that's what I'm smelling. This is not no spiritual union. You already know this. So, obviously, these late night readings be about love. 
you know, about uh, the things that y'all are going through with certain people. And then, too, you may not even recognize that these people still be in your energetic field, but they do. They are powerless. They're energy vampires. These people, you know, they, um, they try to come in and siphon your energy up. They want to use all of your energy if they can, if they can't access it. <laughs> For a lot of y'all, this person can't access you at all because I feel like they've done too much. It's like you have to stay away from that person to stay sane and free. You dig a real shoe? Like, that's kind of crazy, ain't it? Like, even if you may, you may even have children, like I said, with this person or whatever. But it's like you got to stay away just so that you can be free and sane. You deal with this person, you definitely gonna go down crazy in some kind of way. For real, for real. But nothing needs to block your vision at this time. Obstacles and challenges are in the reverse. So anything that comes up against you, you're gonna win. I heard an icky, icky situ uh, situation. Situation. I don't know what's going on with this situ, but this person right here is stuck, okay? This is a very sticky situation this person is in. And you got the authority to ball is in your court. They need your help. I feel like if you got kids with a person, <clears throat> your children, your children, you have to always, whatever is best for your children is just do what's best for your children in this situation here. I'm just trying to tell you the vibes, okay? Balance. I can't tell nobody how to be a mother or a father. Power in the reverse, and then you got partnerships and alliances. This is what I, this is what it's all about, though. It's about you partnering with someone else. Somebody is refusing to transform. So guess what? You got a motherfucker that's mad at you because they refusing to motherfucking move. They refusing to move. They refusing. They want to stay stuck. They want to, and they see you propelling. They like uh uh. Psh. Somebody trying to grab somebody by the back of their motherfucking shirt and yank them back. Like oh no, you're not going no fucking where. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Fix my clothes. You're not going anywhere. You're not going away from me. What are you talking about? Yeah, I let you have fun. I let you have fun. I had my fun or I'm having my fun. You dig your excuse? Like somebody is just, they they enjoying, they, they, this person is enjoying their life, but they definitely don't want you to enjoy yours. And how would they know whether you enjoying your life or not? Because they sit back fucking watching. They're sitting back watching every fucking thing in mental conflict looking stupid as hell fuck shit. Yeah. Or this is you, spiritual strength. Man, look, I'm hearing the Brady bunch. Somebody named Brady. Uh-oh. Somebody named Bigsby. Bigsby? B-I-G-S-B-Y? Bigsby? Another suffering in silence card. Man, this... Bro, look at this damn person. Do you want to fuck with anybody in this kind of state of mind? I'm just trying to say. Because that's what the fuck going on. And you see this person coming too. You see them coming from a mile away. I'm hearing that song, You're the One by Dundria. This person keeps having dreams about you. They keep having dreams, but what they're saying in their dreams, they don't like. Or they keep getting readings on you and what they're getting in the readings, they not liking. It's something about whatever is whatever is being shown to this person, spiritually or physically, this person doesn't like it, basically. They're going to try to come back in and make room for themselves. This is like a person that invites themselves along. Wisdom reverse, base chakra reverse. So somebody gonna end up trying to take some shit out on you. Their lack thereof is what I heard. Lack thereof could mean any damn thing. Whatever they may be lacking or something, they gonna take that shit out on you somehow. You're the fault for this, okay? This could be somebody trying to subpoena somebody to come to court. Emotional loss. They're not going to get what the fuck they want. This person is trying to seek something just simply out of being in their emotions here. This person is in their feelings. Yeah, solar place is reversed. And they're also going to come to you lying about something too. Y'all be cautious of these damn emergencies. Okay, here for sure. 
I'm not saying doubt nobody, but I feel like the ambulance can get there. The police can get there quicker than you. That, that, that just what I'm saying. So this is that fucking energy of this damn bitch right here. That keep trying to set up this damn divine masculine to come to her house or something. <laughs> get around you. Like they have no intention on letting you be around your kids. Or they have no intention on being around their kids. This person just wants to get around you. <laughs> goodness gracious child and you don't have to have children with this person you don't gotta have kids with this person you don't have to have any children at all this could be a, a family member or something but i feel like children are being used in a situation period you dig a that's how i feel about it i feel like kids are being used child these dang old cars keep flying in this damn in this damn seat girl what the hell <laughs> girl and they can't even stand their ground this person can't even defend themselves is what i heard this motherfucker is afraid they're afraid to be alone in something or they're afraid to be doing something alone like say if you change your whole entire life like you stop drinking stop smoking something like that and this person still drinks or smoke this person right here is trying to get around you to encourage you and entice you to start back drinking and smoking if you're not having sex they want to come towards you and start kissing on your neck and shit right here I mean, because they are a fucking vampire. You dig a rush cue? Disruption in the reverse. Memories of love reverse. You don't even remember anything loving, loyal, nor caring about this person anyway here. So, yeah. They're not going to be able to disrupt anything you got going on. Yeah. If you're going to move on, if you're going to move on to new, you need to do what it takes to move on to new. You have to make room. You dig a rush cue? If you know for a fact that you're not done with this person in its entirety, and I mean like in its entirety being done with them, then, you know, just be expecting for them to come back. And whatever you choose to do, however you choose to handle, however, I don't know. However you choose to do so right here, fam, because just understand this person is in an emotional loss. This person, um... Their mind is all clustered. Like this person. I, I just don't like their intentions. That's what I'm saying. Chaos and conflict. I don't like the intent behind this shit. Behind this meet and greet or this whatever the fuck this is. Their intentions ain't good, bro. This person definitely is trying to cause some fucking chaos here. From some from the past. Somebody is still holding something over your head. Or holding something over you. You may have thought that they swept some under the rug or totally forgot about something. They did not. They were waiting right now to. Somebody was waiting on something to say about you or say something to you. I feel like somebody feel like they could just say or do something to just throw your whole entire energetic field off. Because it's somebody else here that you're seeing. They are pissed the fuck off. The door has closed. The window of opportunity is gone. I feel like this person had opportunity years ago. What the fuck I said? I feel like they had opportunity years ago, though. This person just now trying to come in when you're in your glow up, blow up season. Man, get your ass on. This person need to take their ass on with this bullshit for. Look at this. Unfinished Symphony. They feel like something ain't over because of a child or something like that. They're having some really bad luck. But they're only trying to use this child as some kind of way to get you to come in, lure you in, is what I heard. It's a higher power, my dad. My dad is here. He's like, oh, no. Remember what I told you? Remember what I had uh, showed you about that person? Yeah, I'm going to need you to take that into consideration. Pretty much. It's fuck your feeling season is what I just heard. Straight up. Fuck how somebody feel about something. Cause this person is uh, driven solely off of emotion, period. And I mean, they in their feelings right now. As I'm doing this reading, this person is in their damn feelings. Somebody drinks too goddamn much. Motherfuckers, stop all that goddamn drinking, okay? Nah, dead serious. Somebody wake up drinking. Drink throughout the day. Drive, drink. You know, um, whatever the fuck. And I'm not judging nobody, but I'm just saying the, what I'm picking up on someone's inside. It's like you need to stop straight up. The face is here. Round and round in the reverse. Somebody named Brittany. Laverne. Okay. Co-create in the reverse TikTok. I mean, co-create is definitely in the upright. Sorry. 
but see you're 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 in this co-creation energy divine feminine masculine and it's just fates right this person feel like they can go round and round because y'all have a child together or so they feel like they could just take you round in fucking circles this 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 tornado tasmanian double s circle energy but it's like driving shit into the fucking ground for you though because they shit is already fucked up you may not even know how this person is actually doing for real they may be trying to put on a front or something flexing and shit and see whoever you are i don't feel like you play about your children bro so you know maybe you're providing money to this person and they're doing something else with the money i don't know and like i said you don't even have to have any children this is a family member or just a regular fucking ex here that's trying to get in your way before somebody else comes in i keep telling y'all this over and over they're sending people somebody feels like their time is up they feel like something that they're doing is very short-lived but it is they are feeling correctly <laughs> This person intuition is going to fuck off to just leave you be or stop doing something and they're keep they keep pursuing whatever this shit is. This is why they keep getting blasted off, is what they heard. Imagine come to the edge. This is what I'm saying. They're trying to lure you to fuck in. They're thinking of a way to lure you in to disrupt your fucking peace. Peace is in the reverse. They're looking for a way. Come to the edge. Literally. They're trying to lure you in some kind of way. And I feel like it's with some kind of fake ass emergency. But like I said, I can't tell nobody what the fuck to do, especially when children are involved. You dig a rescue? But to me, this is bullshit. Somebody, it's like they trying to have you startled. Like somebody's trying to startle you with trauma or something like some real traumatic shit going on or something like that, that they done fucking caused. This person will cause some shit to fucking happen. Message in a bottle, Treasure Island reverse. They will literally cause some shit to happen. And act like it just coincidentally happened. Like it was some kind of freak accident or something. This person is weird as fuck. Or this is you. They're doing all this shit to gain your attention. Because they don't want you to orphan or abandon them. No place like home. Somebody could be trying to get in your house as well. Or they could be trying to see where you live. Or they could be trying to see where this person that you're with lives. Okay here. For sure. I feel like the next time you move. That's where you're going to be. Um, That's where you're going to be residing permanently or something. And it's going to be with your person, <laughs> your husband, your wife, whomever. This person right here is, they. this person sighted the fuck out right here. I'm not even going to get no kipper or nothing. 17 minutes in this fucking reading. It's already bullshit. Get some tea cards and get the fuck out of this shit. Take my ass to sleep. What else is here? They're fucking stalking you. This is all this person does is watch you. Of course, they're not going to say anything because, like I said, a lot of y'all are already with this person or something like that. I don't know. But this person is trying to feed off of that. They need energy from you. It's like they try to come in and out your life, steal energy. They come, they be out your life for a while, come in your life. Okay, so what they do is they stay with the karmic. Then they come into your life, have sex with you or do whatever the fuck hell. Then they leave. They abandon you. Go right back to the car. Me. They live off of your energy for like a year, and then they come right back to you. So I mean, you should have caught on to some kind of pattern by now regarding this person. Definitely, this person is very bothered. They need you back. They need this source of energy that you have. You dig a rescue? They need this energy that you hold. The energy that you hold, they need that shit like bad. I'm hearing Jasmine Sullivan need you bad. Look, threatening. This person could even be getting threatened by this karmic or something. They're bothered. This person is really stressed. I'm telling you. Somebody putting pressure on something. It's like a deadline or something. But somebody putting pressure on some shit that don't got nothing to fuck to do with you. You're not giving this any attention. You're not giving this any awareness. And that's what you truly need to do. Starve the beast. Because this person is hungry. They need energy. I feel like if you need some energy, do what normal people do. You know, work out, get some rest. Why don't you eat differently or something? Like, I mean, do something like that. We fuck are you trying to steal somebody's energy for? Like, you would go through all of this shit just to try to get close to someone. Just so that you can have some goddamn energy. And you're still not going to have any energy because you won't get close to this person. Ooh, what I said. Divine Feminine. This man, I'm look, cloud hungry. I'm telling you, they hungry. This is a vampire. 
that you're dealing with. You may have not known this side of this person, but see, you've been dodging this mother. You're not reflect. You don't give a fuck. You don't. You don't talk about this person. Think about this person. You don't care. It's like whatever, whatever it was, it's over with now. Or this could be what your person is going through. Yeah. Lonely in the reverse. Somebody does not want to be alone and they don't want to be broke. And I also feel like you're not alone and you're not fucking broke. Somebody may, you know, get the impression that you're alone and broke or something like that without them. But I feel like they the ones fake flicks and acting like they got it and they don't. Straight up. And that's real shit. Fake smiles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, I heard the word unrecognizable. So, a lot of folk can't even recognize you. Or you gonna see someone um, from a minute ago and you're not gonna recognize them or they're not gonna recognize you. Yeah, they go boss daddy. Somebody ain't gonna recognize you. Because you look completely different. Okay, somebody is fed up with this energy. The energy of this person. That's what I'm saying. They're fed up with this person being in your energy. They like, so are they fucking this person or not? <laughs> I need a closer look into their life because I need to see exactly what the fuck they're doing. They're not telling me nothing. They're not showing me nothing. Who is this person? They more invested in this person than you are. I'm here. I think I can. I think I can. It's my name, Thomas. These some fake ass hoes and niggas. These folks be stalking y'all, bro. I'm telling you. Somebody is not who they is trying to be in life or something. Or they may be trying to deter you from this. But they can't. They're ignoring their own responsibilities or something. And like I said, this nigga right here, they left you to take care of kids or something. Or masculine. This girl won't let you see her children. But it's going to be like all of a sudden. Yeah, they're moving in silence, trying to dig up some kind of dirt on this connection. They're trying to figure out more information about something. They tripping on you now. Look at them in the fucking comments, looking for some. I heard keywords. Child, hell no. Nah. The person looking for keywords, that's some shit. Somebody name could be Key, Kiana or something like that. Kelly, drama starter. Look at this shit. Child services. So this person could this person could literally be trying to get you to come to their house or get around these kids to do something lame as hell. I don't know. We're gonna rebuke that in Jesus' name, honey. Somebody got some kind of screenshots. Or this is this this uh practitioner or this fucking reader. Getting back to this person, maybe screenshotting a, a spread is what I just heard. I'm seeing somebody, uh, okay. I'm seeing a picture of like three cards laid out and some other cards clarifying those and a very long message. They were probably explaining to this person what those energies meant. But see, this also too could be some kind of catfish energy. Somebody could have been stealing your work or something. That's what I'm picking up too. Y'all folk got a lot of damn copycats right here, shawty. Straight up. Now they all crying because their reputation is ruined. Y'all cars keep falling on the floor. Look, this is a happiness hater. They're trying to come rushing the fuck in, bro. I'm telling you. It's like they're going to try to... They, it's like they're going to try to... Look, they're going to try to force their way into your energetic field like when you least expect it. People don't never want you until you with somebody else. That's just what I'm trying to tell you right here. They never want you. It's like they be having full range to be with you. And then now y'all folks booked and busy. You can't even hardly talk and shit. These people had their fucking chance when you were sitting still. And they took that as you were down. You dig a you? They didn't take advantage of it. They took that. These people took your downtime. And they, they tried to kick you while you were down. They tried to block you. And then now they it's a whole different story. Whole different ball game. Ego. Somebody's ego got the best of them as well. Child. So I named Manuel. Emmanuel. Eman Manny. Somebody named Pilar. Hell nah, bro. 
Anything else in this day here? See, I seen that threatening car. See, but the thing is, you're you're too busy winning, so you're gonna remain unfazed and unbothered, honey. That's just what the truth of Rugo always remain. You're 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 too blessed to be stressed. I feel. This person keeps coming up in your damn energy because they are trying to literally manifest something to happen in your life. But it, it's got something to do with them like swapping out. They they want to swap their energy for yours or something. So they need to make like a physical contact with you. But they're never going to be able to connect with you. So yeah, that's the biggest obstacle for them. Also too, this person may not be able to connect with you physically because they asked a lot to fuck up. So they trying to find another way to, I heard, penetrate your energy. These motherfuckers will even send somebody to you. Nah, I'm straight fast. Yo, ex will send somebody to you. I'm telling you, bro. Just don't fuck them. <laughs> Go towards them and act like you interested, but just don't fuck them. You dig a rush, you? As if this person was going to be able to touch you anyway. But Okay. <laughs> You fuck crazy as fuck. I just seen that Scooby Doo van now nah, in my head. Look, this person be having all kind of threesomes and shit. For look, that what I'm telling you. This person needs to come in. They gonna have you involved with someone else. They just need to steal your energy sexually. So this is sexual energy that they need, or just I don't know. This could even be whatever the fuck. They I don't know. They want to swap out something with you because they losing. They done lost everything. <laughs> They're like, oh, time to go re-up on some energy. I got to go get me. I got to go charge up. They act like you a charging station or some shit. This motherfucker don't stop by your goddamn house unless they need to charge up. They feel like you were some kind of charging station. And they extra triggered. Because you don't provide them services no more is what the fuck I just heard, fam. This person wasting their time on right here, masculine. Niggas had going to prison. That's what I was just trying to tell you right here. They're wasting time. Or this is you. Okay. You're wasting fucking time with this shit. And I mean that. With every fiber of my being, I mean that shit. You're wasting time, baby. Like, whatever the fuck this is, you could definitely go do something else. Because this is not going to work. This person is a damn idol. And they're going to be with someone else. Or they're already with someone else. I just suggest you back the fuck off. Back off, buddy. <laughs> Hey, back off, pal. Pal, back off. From my collector, what the hell? I heard the word scrutiny, adversity. Look at this shit. I'm just trying to say divine, fam. Divine masculine. Y'all folks is literally idolizing. You're not giving this person shit. Child, I, and I do feel like if you, got, if you got kids with this person, you can definitely purchase whatever you need to purchase. Somebody gonna try to come up to divine feminine talking shit because the bitch wanna fight. Girl, but look girl this feminine is not about to fight this raggedy hoe okay this divine feminine ain't ever finna get her hands dirty sis pay too much for her nails sis paying too much money for her wigs and shit this divine feminine just paid too much for their braids what are you talking about that sewing what are you that lace front what are you talk like what are you talking about this woman is not about to fight you honey okay somebody is fast and creeping stalking trying to get the inside school this could even be your ex person the person that your ex is dealing with they want to fight you like what the fuck because something didn't go right in their relationship they're getting their karma they're getting bad karma divine feminine masculine is getting good karma they're getting bad karma motherfuckers always partying and shit this is why these folk don't have no rank I told you somebody's trying to steal your work. But see, creativity muncher is in the reverse. Like they can't, they can't do it. Bro. Where did that damn car just go? They can't look at this shit. They can't do it. Impersonator is in the reverse. Fake account. This person. And then the, this fucking reader that they going to is not shit for. This bitch is dummy for or this nigga is dumb. They going to get readings and shit. The shit is not even accurate. Whoever this 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 fucking advisor is, or whatever they want to stamp themselves as, they're a fucking airhead. <laughs> this person don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Grudge holder. Goodness gracious. This person is holding grudges on you from what they're saying in these damn readings or something. 
and they also could be mad because they can't travel towards you with an offer because this person keeps giving them false readings or something this person is giving them false readings so it's like every move that this person is making is getting shot the fuck down they think they're getting accurate messages and they're not this reader even believes that they're getting accurate messages <laughs> what i said the reader is so convinced that these messages are accurate in their fucking night. That's why this person is getting karma and this person is as well. Somebody's holding a grudge on you. Like I said, because they cannot travel anywhere near you to bring you this bullshit ass fucking offer that they know goddamn well. This is not shit. This person knows that they want nothing to do with their kids for real. This motherfucker know that they don't really want you to have no relationship with your children. This person right here just wants to be in control of some shit. Why the hell they keep looking all around trying to see who you fucking on? Look at this. Boss daddy. Child. They trying to come in and ruin your damn relationship too. So don't be shocked that hoes and niggas start talking shit for real to your person though. Like they're going to be telling this person shit. It seems like somebody trying to find out who you dating or something. So they can go directly to them and tell them something about you. But they can't never explain the fact why they laid up and had four kids with you and shit. Okay. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> they ain't gonna never illuminate that fact to the motherfucking public. They ain't gonna never do that. What's gonna... I was about to say what's gonna be the outcome. The Ten of Pentacles and the fucking Sun card. <laughs> Ten of Wands reverse the Sun card again. Ten of Pentacles again. Ace of Wands. I'm just trying to tell you what the vibes are, fam, masculine. Y'all folk doing too much good shit. This is why nobody can beat you. You do too much, uh, too many good things, too many good deeds is what I heard. The movie Good Deeds is significant. Yeah, Cherry, all these options are coming towards you. That's just what I'm telling you. And this person, this cancer is coming towards you. They need they need uh, energy. They coming in to stab you out over again to cause illusions. Then to wave their little wand here okay and try to break you all over again ace of cups this is love bond bombing i'm finna say love bonding okay so this person loves bonding themselves to you or binding you to them or something or themselves to you whatever yeah the seven of pentacles i'm telling you this person is a fucking liar they're not getting what they want and this energy from you to to go back so that they can you know be a decent motherfucker for this karmic energy You mean to tell me you nor your bitch got no energy? Man, come on. No, ain't y'all can't. Like, you can't. Like, what the fuck? You, it's supposed to be an even exchange. Why in the fuck is you going outside of your marriage or outside of your relationship to get energy? That's strange as fuck. And you living in the house with somebody? Why you can't get energy from them? But see, the Eight of Cups reversed with this Empress. This person wanted to walk away, but they can't walk away from this damn Empress here. You're at a Nine of Pentacles and the Sun energy, Leo energy. Okay. This person is sitting back looking at you like, damn, they really got it going on. But they're they not going to ever admit this to you. What I said, they ain't going to never congratulate you on shit. They ain't going to never say, oh, yeah, you did that or whatever the fuck. They're not going to do that. They're going to sit in the background and be like, damn, they really doing something. Let me go and try to stop it. That's what I'm saying. Anything else here for divine feminine masculine? Child, look, I'm telling you, the magician, the magician, the lovers, five of ones reversed with the seven of cups. Whatever the fuck they were doing, they fucked around and did something when you had already manifested something else. That's what I'm saying. And so it doesn't matter. It doesn't. You are the true magician. You don't have to do spells on people. This bitch right here is doing spells on you or this nigga is. And this is definitely somebody from your past. Somebody is trying to call somebody with some kind of false ass goddamn narrative. They're making shit up. I just really feel this person is making up shit or this is you. I don't feel like this is genuine at all. Girl, where the hell? That car just flew all the way in my damn, um, not cup holder. The door holder, whatever. The sun. Leo energy. You still at a nine of pentacles, bottom of the deck. I'm seeing the tower. Look at this shit. The emperor reversed the hermit and the two of cups. Oh, yeah. So, this person definitely is trying to block you. Mm, this is a shame. This queen of wands. Divine masculine already know. 
This is a Leo Aries or a Sag, something like that. But this is a weak motherfucker. This person weak as fuck. And this nigga is bitch made. He's in bitch energy, fam. Period. They're the emperor reverse. They don't have shit going the fuck on. Nothing. Only to block you. That's it. They live for that shit. Somebody named August. Augusta, Georgia is significant. Somebody named Gus. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Child, they gonna have to just wait on whatever the fuck because they're unbalanced. This person is too unbalanced to even be around you or your kids, period. They too, this person needs to do some more work. I mean, <laughs> they need to do some work. They need to start doing the work. They ain't did shit at all. That's brazy. The two of ones, they're still waiting. So these cars obviously wanted to come out. So you're dealing with a Sag. Let me see. We got a Sag. Sag with the Temperance. Aries with the Emperor. Virgo with the Hermit. Leo with the Sun card. Gemini with the Lovers. Libra again. Did I say? No, I didn't even say Libra. Okay. <clears throat> Libra. Taurus. Cancer. Okay. Child. One more. <clears throat> Girl. This what I'm saying. They watching. They stalking. This person is never going to stop watching you. It's an ending. Something is all the way over. They watching you in hopes to make some kind of move to you so that something won't work out. But whatever they're doing, it's not going to work. And it is so sad that they're involving these children. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very sad that they're involving these children in this. Because it seemed like... I don't know. Somebody's... Somebody... Man, I don't know. I'm picking up on some nasty shit right here. A person that's trying to do some nasty shit to bring it in to you. Or to keep connected to you some kind of way this person only needs to be around you they don't have to even have sex with you they just need to be in your presence two of down pentacles they're juggling and they're called seven 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 of swords reverse seven of cups they're painting illusions to whomever eight of one six of cups this motherfucker from your past and they just also got some kind of bad news or something this may be why they started plotting out plotting on you they're not getting what they want, bro. The nine of cups is reversed. So I'm hearing the word pertinent. Look, it's very important that you be listening at this time to your guidance. I'm telling you, Capricorn, Capricorn energy, okay? Pisces, it's definitely a Libra. I mean, Leo. But could be a Libra. Your digger is you. Or you can have Libra prominently in your chart. Okay. Ooh. I can't make this shit up. Justice. It's a Libra for sure. This person is a Libra or you're a Libra. This is. If this person is a Libra. Rising. Sun, moon, rising or north node. Well, they could not possibly be in north node in this energy. But sun, moon or rising. Libra. This, the, the scales are going to be balanced because it's justice. Libra symbolizes justice, fairness. But it's not going to go in this person's favor. What's fair is for them to get their shit for what the fuck they did or did not do. You dig a room? For real. Yeah, the queen of swords, five of swords. Everything is fine. It's a lot of air energy, a lot of talking. Okay. Understand the vibes, uh, family masculine. You need to definitely be using your discernment at this time because this person is playing fucking games. So this is you, okay? I'm definitely going to leave it right here. Remember that God loves you and so do I. See you next time, guys. Bye.